Okay. So let's do this problem. So, can anybody tell me what the first intermediate is here? It's going to be the. Uh, what is that thing called? The phenol. Uh, that's not. It, well, you're talking phenol. Is that what you're talking phenol, about? Yeah. Sorry. But this is not a phenol, right? Phenol has the OH here, not there. Okay. Bam, okay? Um, but. What are you talking about now? The, the hydrogen's going to be gone because that other hydrogen. You're going to deprotonate, right? So that kind of, te there's this, right? Yeah, the it's it's telling you that hydrogen is going away. So there's hydrogen gas being formed. So how can hydrogen gas be formed? Remember, sodium hydride it breaks up into, remember, the sodium is always a spectator ion, right? And the H minus, do you guys remember what that's called? You guys remember what the name of H minus is? Hydride. That's why it's called sodium hydride. The mechanism, deprotonate the alcohol. Again, this is not a phenol. What is it called? It's just an alcohol, it's primary alcohol. So that's the intermediate. Hopefully that makes sense. Okay, what's going to happen here? <coughs> first step. That's going to attack one of those epoxides. Okay, what, what is it going to attack? The oxygen here? No, no bottom one of the bottom. One yeah. of these two bottom carbons, right? Why? Because of the ring strain. Because of ring strain, right? Okay, does it matter which carbon it's going to attack? Why would it not care? They're the same, yeah. right? They're essentially the same. They're like if you looked at this in the NMR, you'd only see one carbon, right? Okay. So remember, this is a good what type of thing? Good nucleophile, right? So this is this thing is a good electrophile due to that ring strain. Okay. So this these three-membered cyclic ethers are called what? A box right? Okay. So. Um, can I erase this first part so I can put the mechanism of that part there? So again, this wouldn't be a mechanism type problem, but for me it's easier to think about things mechanistically. Okay. So again, the spectator ion floats away. And so we'll do is put so we've got this oxide, like we said, so because of ring strain, there's this delta plus there, right, that um, makes it an electrophile, the nucleophile will attack it, like that, opening up that ring due to the ring strain, <coughs> and I didn't give myself enough room for that box to put in there. Anyways, we got to do the second step before we put anything in the box. So. so when we do that, what do we get? Ether. An ether, yes. Very good. How many carbons are we adding to this side of it? Two. Two plus, uh, plus oxygen. oxygen. So one. To oxygen and the oxygen, does it have a charge on it? Negative, yes. Negative charge. So the sodium is still associated there. Okay. okay. Does that make sense? Okay, so that's what we got, but we haven't acid. put our acid in there yet, right? What's going to happen when we do that? Put our protonate that. Of okay. course, yes. Remember, what are the fastest reactions in chemistry? Acid-base reactions, okay? So whenever there's a base, is there a base in this in this solution now? Right? What is it? It's this thing here is the base, right? Deprotonate the acid, like that. So in that box that was there, I would put this thing that I'm about to draw. And 
but I'm going to erase this part of the mechanism. Okay, so I'll let you guys draw it real quick. Or actually, can I erase this part of the mechanism here? Structure of this thing? OTS. Also no, this no, thing. Of priority? Oh, the Nitrogen with the five uh, uh -huh. carbons. And it's got three double one. So what is that kind of, what is this thing good for? That's going to be good for one of the hydrogen. What is it called? What did you say, Kendra? Base. Yeah, it's a non nucleophilic base, right? Okay, so what does the base do? Deprotonates thing is, is there an acidic hydrogen that it can deprotonate? Yes. Where is it? Where is it? No. Come on, guys. Where's the acidic hydrogen? No. No. On the alcohol. Of course. Mm -hmm. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> I to doubt myself. <laughs> Kendra. Damn. Gosh, you're wrong, Billy. You're wrong. <laughs> No kind of See, protonation. Mom's <laughs> right. So we got the alkoxide again. And then what happened? It's going to be a uh, complex with the uh, sulfonyl chloride and the uh, meth. So, what was it, the mesolate? Yeah, mesolate. Uh, it has five carbon, but it literally do the three. Uh, it's connected to that. Because it's, it's the same one. It looks like a head. Because is that, is this, is this nucleophilic? No. Yes, this is nucleophilic. So that's right. Like that that yeah. If you would come to class more often. Like that? So what is what are we doing here? Why are we doing this stuff? Is this this alcohol here. Why are we? What are we trying to do here? Create a good leaving group. Yeah, a good leaving group. Is an alcohol a good leaving group? No. No. Uh -uh. So we've got to make it. We've got to invert its um, reactivity, right? We make it from a bad leaving group to a good leaving group. In order to do that, we make them easily. take it out of solution, you know, and you can't have salts and bring them out of solution. So, um, now we've got, uh, Wrong. 
more room to draw. Can I erase this top part, the pyridine deprotonation? Remember, this is all going to be on YouTube too, so go and check it out if you didn't get it all. So we inverted the reactivity. This is now a good leaving group, right? So it was a bad leaving group when it was an alcohol over here. So since it's a good leaving group, this is going to be a what type of um, thing? So this is going to be a nucleophile electrophile reaction, which is this going to be, the nucleophile electrophile. The other one's the nucleophile. So then so that, that must be the electrophile. electrophile. If you see anything like that, it's a good electrophile. Okay? So it's these, you know, tosylates, mesylates, these types of things. Okay? So what's going to happen? Just things that are very good. An SN2 reaction. Everybody's favorite reaction. Okay? So when we do that, we're going to get the final product. you're going to have the conjugate base of the measle, the measle ion. Okay, is everybody cool with that one? Any questions on it? So that would be a good synthesis problem. So something like that will be on the exam. I could only imagine. Okay. What's up? Why does it hit the sulfur? That's what it is. Yeah. So somebody else tell me. Well, the sulfur. The oxygen is cooling. Yeah. Exactly. Those oxygens are very electronegative. Okay. And in fact, if you remember what sul uh, sulfones look like, right? Remember the um, resonance structure that they prefer to have, right? In the sulfone, the sulfur is what charge? You guys remember the, the resonance structure that they prefer? They're positively charged, okay? The sulfur is much bigger than oxygen, so they can't really have that double bond very well. We draw it like this because it's easier for us to look at, you know? Okay, everybody cool with that? <laughs>